<laughs> Hello, my fine villains and lovely villainesses. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the new Inaros rework and how I actually really love this rework. Now, before anything, please Excuse like, me, share. Oh, oh, bro, you wanted to say something? Ah, yes, human, says I am your co-host. I was wondering if I could do this reword video instead of you. Oh, so you, you want to do the Inaros rework video? Correct. Okay, you, you're, you're, you're my co-host. Let's do this. Ah, yes, that is much better. Now, let us see Pablo's recap on the rework itself before I give you my thoughts upon it. So to recap, when you die now, you turn into a sand version of yourself that can revive by hitting enemies. Uh, the one is mostly unchanged. The two and the three got merged, so now you get the whirlwind. It's much faster. It heals you. It gives you immunity uh, and then uh, gathers enemies instead of throwing them around. Uh, his three is what used to be the armor part of his fourth. Now you can move while you cast it instead of being stuck in place. Uh, it has the default, uh, the, the status protection by default. So now you'll be protected from any status as long as you have that up. Um, his fourth now is the swarm part of that. And basically it casts now into a cone instead of into a, into a single unit. And basically all those units get uh, swarmed. And then that swarm can spread around CCing enemies. It can strip armor. And any enemies that die during uh, while they're affected by swarm will create a sand cat that will assist in spreading that swarm even more. I hope you like it, and I hope we'll get it into your hands soon. Adios. Well said. Now, again, the first ability did not need too much to rework. The second ability, his new ability, I believe, is going to make him very good for not only healing, but grouping enemies, which means range now plays a part in Inaros. His fourth ability, now being split up into two abilities, one making him immune to status as long as his bar is full, or the other one which is a plague that now spreads, and when enemies die, creates sad cats. I think is a very wonderful thing to do. This also makes it so that he has the potential to now be able to armor strip enemies. And his new passive definitely makes it so that coming back to life from being one-shotted is now possible. I think to be fair, having a diminishing return is definitely warranted for a frame that, as you clearly could have seen, is very hard to already kill. Now, when the rework finally lands. My human may end up doing a build video. For everyone that likes, shares, and subscribes, I myself will get you stretches. So to all the humans out there, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much, and stay villainous.